What's up, everyone? And welcome to the first ever episode of Damn Chic TV. I'm your host, Heen Chu. You all have probably seen me around campus, and I'm a apparel design student here at Oregon State. You just saw the designs of Brooke Butler, our first guest on Damn Chic TV. For those of you who don't know, Damn Chic is Oregon State's premier fashion publication. Damn Chic started as a class project, and those students realized we had a gap on campus for students who enjoyed fashion. So they brought Damn Chic to life as a student-run club. This past year, Jam Chic joined the legacy of Orange Media Network alongside Beaver's Digest, The Daily Borough, Prism, KBVR TV, and FM. You can find our quarterly publication on OMM racks around campus and daily content on our website, orangemedianetwork.com slash damnchic. Now I bet you're wondering, what is Damn Chic TV all about? Well, we usually put on fashion shows so we can showcase our Oregon State designers. But we re realized with a fashion show, you can only get a brief look at the garments and you learn almost nothing about the designer. We wanted to change that. We wanted you all to be able to meet the amazing designers we have here at Oregon State and get to know a bit about their uh, creative process. Later in the show, I'll be sitting down with Brooke Butler. But for now, welcome to Damn Chic TV. Before we sit down and chat with Brooke, we had a chance to go out and check out what the bees feel is a perfect outfit for a sunny day. Here is Be Beaver Basics. All right, Brooke, for those of us who don't know you, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, my name is Brooke Butler. I'm a senior apparel design student here at Oregon State, so this will be my last term. Um, I like to do photography on the side. I like to play some Smash Bros with the homies, uh, play a lot of basketball, follow a lot of sports, so more than just an apparel designer. Well, heck yeah. Are you involved in anything else around campus? Yeah, I actually work for Dixon doing rec sports, so we get to work the intramural sports and sport club events, so get to respond to injuries, do fun stuff like that. And I also got to do some photography with Damn Cheek last year, so. Awesome, what's your favorite sport, by the way? Uh, I'm gonna have to go with basketball, probably. Right. NBA playoffs right. right now, too, so. Heck yeah. So tell us a little about, about your collection. Okay, so my collection, you guys saw a little bit earlier, uh, a lot of workwear inspired stuff. It's all linen, just giving that nice summer flowy vibe to it. Um, oversized garments for it, and just those cool natural earth tones that I feel are really good and in season right now. Did you pull any inspiration from a specific designer with your collection? Uh, I looked at a lot of what smaller designers were doing actually, and then also some Japanese brands just in the lengths and silhouettes of the garments, as well as the different neck um, closures and stuff like that. So not necessarily a specific one, as more of an aesthetic, I think. Heck yeah. So do you have a favorite designer currently? Yeah, I've got a few. Uh, Henrik Vipskov, he's a really cool kind of out there, Scandinavian designer. And then I like Isamiyaki, Gino, Watanabe, a lot of the old Japanese brands. And then, like I said earlier, I like a lot of what small uh, designers are doing in Portland and other places around. Is there anything you look specifically for when you're like going out and shopping? 
I just want something different, honestly. Um, you know, I actually just bought these pants that were cream with like pinstripes on them, and they'd been there for a while, I guess the lady said, but I just like different stuff like that, um, just to show out a little bit, but also to have kind of my own style. Heck yeah. Um, tell me, uh, is there any, er, what is your collection getting ready for? Uh, so we have the spring show, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears over that, but that'll be next Saturday. Um, right outside at the SEC, but yeah, I've been preparing for that for pretty much the past year, just getting my designs ready for that. Tell us a little bit about your creative process. Oh man, I, I will look at something like the smallest detail, like how pants are rolled up and paired with socks and shoes and then go from there. Um, I do a lot of sketching. I've actually had a lot of my ideas now at the end of the process, which kind of sucks, but um, yeah, I just like to look at TV or movies or even like just pictures of stuff, go off of that and then take like a small feature and make it into something bigger. Definitely, you kind of like expand from that. Definitely, yeah. One small thing. Um, what is it, like what is your biggest pet peeve when you see clothing? Oh man, I've got a, I've got a few. I really hate sandals. Sandals? I yeah, I, there's a few, they're getting better but I think you just put on like a bad pair of flip flops, they just ruin an outfit. But but so. getting ready for summer? And you, I know, I know. What, what are you wearing in the summer? I mean, these are these got some nice woven ventilation, ventilation. Oh, going okay. with them. The leather, leather sole. But yeah, I just I wear sneakers all the way through for the most part. I feel that. Well, look, maybe some Vans. Oh yeah, definitely. Maybe your Yeezys. Dude, if you know, if, if I wasn't in college, but yeah. I feel that. Um, so. Thinking about it, what was your favorite uh, collection slash designer from this last season? Oh man, that's a tough one. It, it really is. Yeah, I really like Rag and Bone. Rag and so Bone. I liked what they they did a lot of cool stuff with like stripes. So I think I'll probably have to go with that one just off the top of my head. I mean, I remember we were looking in class at like the Gucci stuff, and that's. Over the top. That's just over the, but it's cool though to see like what they come the up with. The Thule face on the Margiela uh, dresses, yeah. classic from this last season for yep. sure. Um, did you did you catch any of like the latest like Comme de Garçon since you said you like Japanese fashion? Uh, I didn't catch a ton of their stuff. I did see a lot of what they were doing for the Met Gala um, with I believe Tracy Ellis Ross had a custom dress for that. So, yeah, yeah, amazing. Pretty good. Awesome. So, what is it that you're um, excited to make in the future? Oh man, like I said, I've actually had a lot of my best or better ideas, I feel like, coming recently when I'm already kind of done with the, this whole look. But I'm looking to do, I actually want to do this um, outfit that pairs with an album. So it would go, it's, the album is like the story of a summer, so it would be like a look for each song in the album. So that's kind of like really out there and probably something I won't be able to fully develop, but I think that'd be really cool. And then also looking to diversify, do a little bit of sportswear, more than just this stuff right here, but kind of a heritage, vintage sportswear look. Heck yeah. So are you planning on making sportswear collections or maybe summer collections like uh, your spring show stuff over there? Um, I, I mean, sportswear is nice, but I really like the more like my collection with the summer ready to wear type stuff. Um, might even look into getting some heavier fabrics and doing the winter and just try to keep up with the seasons. Maybe some coats and jackets in yeah, there. Yeah, coats are my favorite part of the wardrobe, so. If I, I mean, that's, nice that's why we like the four seasons here. Oh yeah, I get it all. Um, so, what is it that you um, like? Is there anything that you would change about this look now that you have it completed? Uh, I mean, outside of construction stuff, um, we'd probably add, probably change the pants just for functional, make them out of a different fabric. It's this was actually designed for swimmers, so it's supposed to be a pre and post recovery outfit. So the poncho for nice, you know, they got the broad shoulders, so nice range of motion. And then the fabric is just super soft. And you um, said this is for uh, a Nike like project thing? Yeah, it was a project we did last year during school. So we got to actually present at Nike up in Portland. Awesome. Um, is there anything else that you would add to your collection that you didn't show today? 
Yeah, my dream piece for it was a jumpsuit, which might actually get added for me for the actual show to wear. Um, I've also designed like a smock type woven shirt with a high neck and a built-in pocket to the side seam. So I've got a few other ideas that I might try to whip out. Well, I'm looking forward to that. Um, are you, do, you, do you plan on uh, wearing that to the show, maybe? If I can get it done in time, then yeah. Awesome. Um, what is it that you are planning on doing this like right after the show? What, like, do you plan on making more clothes? I feel like some people are probably going to try to just not even go back to that place. Yeah, I, a week ago, I was like, you know what? I'm not stepping in front of a sewing machine for another probably month. I'm just going to take the time off. But now that those creative juices are flowing again, I just want to get back and start making some more stuff. So it's definitely where I'm at right now. Probably maybe take a couple days a week off and then get back to it. Sleep in a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> um, dang. What is it that, um, is there anything that you're excited to see in the future? Like any, any designs that you hope to see done? Oh man, um, I'm excited honestly for everyone else in the show. I think there's a lot of, you're gonna, if you go and, or just have a chance to see some of what people are doing, there's gonna be a lot of really cool stuff in there. Um, I know this one designer that's making some cool pod shorts that you might wanna check out. Dang, those sound pretty dope. They are very dope. Um, so where would you say, so you said that your collection was for summer. Mm -hmm. Um, mainly based because it, it was made of linen. Yeah. Um, would you say that if you change the fabric content that it could be any, any season? I think easily, just because of the longer lines. I mean, pants are pretty much all seasons, depending on what you make them out of. But I think, yeah, if you just, with the long lines of the shirts and the jackets, they're, I mean, that duster, you could just make that in wool, and then that's easily a nice winter coat. So I think it's definitely versatile. Awesome. Well, next up, one of our designers, Peyton, talked to people on campus about what they're wearing. Here's Hot on the Scene. How are you guys doing today? This is Peyton with Hot on the Scene, brought to you by Damn Chic TV. And today we'll be interviewing fellow beavers about what they're wearing and why they're wearing it. I'm an apparel design major here at um, Oregon State University. I'm a second year. Today I'm wearing a vintage 1994 um, 49ers t-shirt that I thrifted yesterday. Some naked and famous selvage that I tapered and cut the selvage off of, unfortunately, and some Air Force Ones. So just a nice, simple fit today. Today we have Nolan. And we're here with Jared today. How's it going, Jared? What up? We're here today with Summer, Patrick, Aaron. Hi. Awesome. <laughs> We're glad to have you, Aaron. Uh, what can you tell me about your style? What are you wearing today? Oh, okay. So I actually just got this shirt in the mail from Uniqlo. I think it's based off like some Japanese paper company. Um, and so, yeah, they have like a collaboration with it. So what are you wearing today? Uh, I'm wearing Common Projects, uh, Adidas track pants, and just a white sweater. Just okay. trying to be cozy. Uh, well, I'm just wearing my Dutch Bros sweater, my normal blue jeans, my Burks with my crazy socks, and yeah about my outfit. Well, I guess I'm wearing this Columbia vest, and um, this is a quarter zip for my sorority, Sigma Delta Omega. Well, I'm gonna start at the bottom because I love boots. Boots are my favorite thing. I've got a pair of uh, bed stews on. I can't remember what the model name is on them or anything, but I saw them online one time. I thought they were the greatest things ever, and then I found them at a Goodwill, and I was really stoked yeah. about that. And I was staying in wood one time, and I managed to spill stain all over them, and somehow it made them prettier. So that's how you know they're a good pair of boots when you make them messy and they look even better. Tell us about your shoes. Oh, these are a pair of Keds that I got at the beginning of the year, and I've faded a lot. Awesome, yeah, they're kind of showing their wear yeah. and like who you are. <laughs> Why'd you choose this shirt like over any other shirt that you saw there? All right, so I chose this shirt because it's kind of like a cream color off-white, and so are the soles of uh, these shoes right here. Yep. Like, oh, I can't wear just a t-shirt. So I decided to throw this on because it matches with the shoes. And uh, yeah, just wanted to be cozy. And then this shirt, jacket, corduroy jacket, I found it at Goodwill also. And it had a couple of nasty little mark spots, but I think they had character. I mean, that's what you're looking for. Yeah. Like this is, I would be pumped if I found this at a Goodwill. Holy mm -hmm. cow. Tell us about your Dutch Bros sweater. Where'd you get it? Um, I got it from my sister who works at Dutch Bros in Eugene. You obviously got this three quarter zip through your sorority. Last weekend at our spring retreat, 
Um, the back of it is actually really cool. So yeah, I'll show, show us you. the back. Yeah. Oh, holy cow. <laughs> so why this jacket? Why like the trucker style, Sherpa lining? Why this jacket? Well, first off, Sherpa lining is so comfy. Yes. It's warm, it's fluffy. My girlfriend loves it. Is this a uh, reversible souvenir jacket that you're wearing right now? Exactly. So um, I usually wear it like with the uh, inside out because uh, I just think that black goes with most things. But like if I to reverse it, it has like a like an eagle in the back Dope. and has a, you know, I think these are wolves. I thought they were tigers for a little bit, but. Yeah, I no, I, I definitely feel like those are wolves. I just thought Bruce Springsteen and Tom Petty totally and guys good. like that, I always thought they had it going on. You know, they're like, they look classy, but rugged. And that's kind of what I wanted to go for. So I got these crazy socks from Journeys. They had like a super sweet deal going on with multiple pack socks. And I yeah. just, I like the orange representing OSU. So yeah. So tell us about these Achilles Lowe's. Uh, I like them a lot. It's kind of a glorified white shoe for the price, but I love them. You said that you're a boots guy. Do you have any other pairs of boots? Oh, I've got like 17 different pairs of boots. So tell us about this fancy watch you're wearing. A lot of accessories on today. Uh, got the Samsung Galaxy watch. Goes good with my Samsung Galaxy phone. Lots of walking, like to count my steps, so. Why these shoes? Um, um, just cause like I was a sneakerhead uh, back in the day. I used to collect Jordans, LeBrons, and like, I don't know, I just want my outfits to be more simpler, I guess, and more of a grown-up, grown-up vibes, I guess. Well, thank you so much for having for having <laughs> us on your show today. <laughs> um, yeah, have a great weekend. Thanks for, thanks for being on the show, Nolan. Yeah, no problem. Hey, have a great rest of your Friday. And thank you, you too. Have a weekend. We occasionally like to have a little fun. So Brooke, if you're up for it, would you be down to join us with a little challenge? I'm down. Your challenge is to see how many shirts you can put on in a minute, and you'll be going head to head with one of our very own Kaylee Swinford. The rule is you have one minute, toss as many shirts as you can on, you know, just like as fast as you can. You'll be really good at putting on shirts at the end of this. And the winner, We'll get a signed copy of the latest issue of Damn Chic Magazine by our editor in chief. Guys, ready to go? Oh, yeah. Ready. All right. Starting in five, four, three, two, and one. First off, oh, Brooke, Brooke with the early start. Neck in. Oh, oh. just throw them on, I guess. Kaylee doesn't even care. This one's inside out. Two, two down. Woo! This is heated. He did. Gosh dang. Get it. I don't even counting. I'm not accounting. I need to count at the end. Get it. Just throw on another one, Kaylee. You need to win, right? You guys are trying to win. I don't see the right mentality in you guys. I need you guys to go ham right now. You have 15 seconds. Woo! The pressure's on! Brooke, get the shirt on! 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, oh! What? You're done, you're done, get it. All right, we're about to count. You guys ready? Oh. Reese's. I can't put my arms all the way down. <laughs> hey, you guys looking like Michelin. All right, so. Starting off, the first shirt. This is one. Ooh, a little timer. Two. Three. You guys are looking pretty even. Four. Was it hot in there? Five. Ooh, this, this is, this is a, Crunch time. The sixth shirt. Seven. Oh, no. It looks like the winner is Brooke with eight shirts. And unfortunately, Kaylee only got seven. 
So Brooke wins the signed copy by our editor-in-chief, Victoria Robbie. There it is. There's the signature. And here you are. Thank you, sir. Thank you for coming tonight. Of course. I'll see you in the lab. Definitely. Getting ready for the show. And while we clean this up, take a look at the video of one of the shoots from our latest issue. The shoot was designed by my dear friend, Levi Pitters. When we come back, Kaylee will be updating you on the latest fashion news. Corvallis, welcome to Damn Chic Fashion News segment. What's chic this week? I am your news anchor, Kaylee Swinford. To start it off, I gotta talk about the biggest night in fashion that happened last week. Like, it's literally referred to as fashion's biggest night out. Of course, I'm talking about the Met Gala. Every year, the Metropolitan Museum of Art the Costume Institute honors one de designer. Unfortunately, since we're unable to send any of our correspondence, I just don't have any pictures of the event, so I drew you guys lovely photos that I have right here. This year, they decided to honor Comida Garçon's designer, Ray Kaukubu. You know the brand with the heart-shaped logo with the eyes? Well, it's actually a whole lot more than that. A wide range of celebrities came to out to celebrate Ray Kaukubu's life work. And per usual, the looks worn at the Met Gala did not disappoint. Starting off with Car Cara Delevingne, showed up with a look that put any sci-fi movie character to shame in a beautiful Chanel power suit, power suit with a wonderful new shaven head, yeah. And then Jaden Smith came in a dope Louis Vuitton suit with some square-toed heels, continuing challenging gender norms. And also, he was just casually carrying his freshly chopped off dreads, like, no big deal. Sadly, you can't talk about any event like this without mentioning one of the Kardashians. And Kendall Jenner's La Perla gown needs to be mentioned. The gown featured 85,000 hand, 85, hand-painted crystals, and they did the, their best to keep her covered at the gala. But I think the most talked about look, though, was Rihanna's. If someone was gonna be able to win the Met Gala, Rihanna certainly won. She literally was a bouquet of Comida Garçon and truly honored Ray Kaukubu work. But enough about the gala. A couple weeks ago, it was everywhere how Nordstrom was selling these jeans that featured fake caked on mud for $425. In response, Neiman Marcus was like, we could top that. As of recently, they are now selling Margiela's pre-ripped up sneakers for $1,425. As you expect, there's some controversy over this. Has this distressing trend gone too far, or is it just getting started? In lighter news, France has passed a law 
recently that mandates that brands will have to be honest about all the retouching they've done in their ads. Starting October 1st, 2017, any modified photos must include the words, retouch photos. France Minister of Social Affairs and Health, Marcelo Torrein, released the following statement. Exposing people to normative and unrealistic images of bodies leads to a sense of self-deprecation and poor self-esteem that can impact health-related behavior. This is a huge step in the fashion industry and in body positivity. But in local news, last Sunday night, here on campus, we had Africa Night, where we had a fashion show that featured traditional garments worn by students that celebrating their culture and heritage. Ending on that note, I am Kaylee Swinford, and that's what's chic this week. And now for your fashion tip of the week. Always express yourself and never feel ashamed to dress up because you don't want your best dress day to be in the casket. I mean, I interpret this every day. I think about it. I dress as crazily as I want. It's important because that's how you express yourself, you know? And I mean, really think about it. Do you want to be remembered just by your outfit in the casket? Or like every day they're like, oh, that guy's dipped. You don't have to worry about it at all. Like you could throw him in any, any box and he's good for going to the ground, you know? That's how I, I think about it. And thank you so much for tuning in. And thanks to Brooke Butler for coming out tonight. Do not forget, if you want to see Brooks or any other of the Oregon State designers work in the action, grab tickets to the spring fashion show, Aurora. Ticket information can be found at OregonStateFashionShow.com. Have a great night, everyone. And that's a wrap.